Welcome to This Week in Sonar. I'm Craig Fuller here with Zach Strickland. Zach, March Madness was one for the record books. I'm certainly excited. Your Zags lost. My Baylor Bears dominated. Were you surprised by the outcome? I, I was surprised that it was such a lopsided event. I've got a little green on for you today. Uh, you know, your Bears look like an NBA team playing a couple of high schoolers. I, it was it was super impressive. I enjoyed watching Baylor in the tournament. The last couple of games, were, they were so dominant. I watched the Zags play UCLA, and they looked pretty soft in that game, or relatively soft compared to the reputation. So I wasn't overly worried coming into it, but I was certainly uh, excited to see how strong Baylor was. Uh, and uh, certainly made my day. But let's talk about Sonar. The purpose of this show is not to talk about basketball sports. We enjoy mixing that in on occasion. But, Zach, we've got some big releases coming out this weekend. What What is what can we expect? So we've now made available the reefer uh, rates in our lane scorecard tool. So what that means is now that you, you, know, you had all the access to the van rates, looking to evaluate a bid or maybe just multiple lanes on a daily basis, if you're you know, looking to the spot market, all sorts of data that lays out right there for you on the screen that tells you the, you know, how good is that lane, how much leverage you're going to have in that lane or lack of, uh, and now you're going to have that for reefer. So this is really taking the the model of giving you the buying power, who has the selling or buying power, the leverage in the market, gives you those indicators. Um, any any other data points that someone can garner from that data? So yeah, we have our scientific rates that are in there, uh, as well as a lane score. So the scientific rates, you know, we've talked about these in the past uh, for reefer specifically in this model. Uh, we'll also give you a little bit of predictive uh, outlook. You know, we've got produce season coming up here in the next month or two. Uh, and so that's going to give you a little bit of predictive outlook as well as give you a historical perspective for the rates and give you some directionality and what those rates are going to do. And it's also going to give you a lane score. So something that tells you how, you know, how much leverage may you have in a lane, especially if you're going from a head haul to a back haul or vice versa. It's going to give you the characteristics of a lane to let you know that should I spend a little bit more time negotiating or looking for other carriers, or maybe I just need to cut ties and just move forward. So Zach, refrigerated market is one of the most volatile markets in all of transportation. Typically, it's tied to a lot of seasonality and location-specific produce and other items that have a lot of variability in the calendar. So what can we gain, garner from all this data? Yeah, so a lot of what our rates are, you know, our scientific rates do is they take in these operational characteristics and it overlays them over time. And it's basically saying, you know, something like produce season has a notable impact to all of the reefer market, even though, you know, you have these produce specific carriers and people that don't necessarily do it year round, but it has a notable impact seasonal, seasonally to the reefer market, and that is included in these rates. Uh, so, uh, and like you said before, it has a very location specific uh, kind of impact, you know, in those areas around the borders of Mexico, Southern California, Northern California, and Florida, all have big seasonality uh, fluctuations that are going on. And it's really difficult to pinpoint how strong those movements are gonna be because they don't necessarily have the same exact impact every single year. So this is gonna give you a quick, you know, daily, especially this time of year, when you're trying to get in front of produce season, those rates can jump up two, $300 a day, uh, almost overnight. So it's, it's very important. So this allows you to get into some of these power lanes and these power markets for these reefer haulers and you know, get a quick evaluation of what to expect on a daily basis. Yeah, one thing about I think it's so amazing about the seasonality is, and if you're not in transportation, it's not obvious. But if you're on transportation, it's more obvious. Is that the season as it is moves around the calendar a little bit. Weather has a per tremendous impact on when the produce season will really start and when it will hit its peak and when it will fall off. It isn't as predictable as other parts of the freight market in terms of consistency. No, not at all. I mean, the everybody remembers 2017. That's kind of the inf infamous produce season that kind of triggered, uh, you know, the mass chaos uh, of the freight market for both dry van and reefer. Uh, so produce season can have a huge impact, I mean, throughout the entire freight market. Uh, and that was because the produce season was delayed by a, like a month and a half because of the rainy season out in California. So it's it's not just important if you're in that space to know what you know the produce movements and reefer haulers are doing uh, because honestly reefer haulers and they did this for us back in the day that we contracted with them to be in their backhaul 
So once that capacity exits, uh, you know, that also leaves a big gaping hole in the rest of the truckload network. Yeah, it does. It's, it is amazing that when uh, the market, uh, when they sort of expect uh, produce season to happen, like you mentioned, when there was flooding or there's been a drought in a certain area, there will be excess capacity in the market. And then as soon as that market turns on, uh, you see that capacity drain rates throughout the entire market shift. And this has a nationwide impact. This is a great thing about the refrigerated markets. It, has, it tends to have a longer length of haul and that capacity does flock to the hottest markets. Yeah, I mean, that's we see it in maritime. We see it in a uh, truckload. Uh, carriage will bypass cold markets to get back to the hot areas. Los Angeles, for instance, right now, one of the hottest markets in the country. A lot of carriers are bypassing some of the colder markets to get to it. Now, Zach, when we're talking about, we're not talking about weather coldness, we're talking about demand, right? So, <laughs> make sure we're clear on what we're referring to. Right. Uh, LA is both hot and hot. Uh, <laughs> so, I guess it has uh, both those correlations. But um, this, is, this is great because our, our customers have been looking for refrigerated data, a more comprehensive view of the freight market uh, as it relates. Um, anything else to, that, that's coming up? We're, uh, you know, locking down. We're making more improvements to Sonar uh, SCI, Supply Chain Intelligence, Lane Acuity as we speak. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of big things coming out of that in the near future as well. I'm looking forward to big, some big announcements coming up. But we will be back in two weeks, Zach, to talk about uh, some other enhancements to the product. So stay tuned.